Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 here in the back of our 2020 Acura MDX. Now guys, it's going to be an awesome little way of giving yourself a nice little carrier to get your bikes to your place that you are going, whether that be the trailhead, any kind of destination you need to take it on. It's going to be great for actually sitting and leaving too, as I think the transfer does an excellent job of staying and kind of lightweight easy to move, easy to take off, and also doesn't take up too much room here on the back of your vehicle. Now, we'll say things just right out of the gate. One thing to keep in mind, we are on the inch and a quarter inch version today with a two inch converter allowing us to utilize our two inch hitch. Now with that, that is gonna limit you to about 40 pounds capacity per bike. However, if you guys have the capability of going up to that two inch hitch already, I highly recommend going ahead and grabbing the full two inch uh, receiver allowing your, or I'm sorry, two inch shank allowing you to utilize those two inch receivers as that's really going to give you a lot more carrying capability. Today, here today on the inch and a quarter version, we are only at a 40 pound capacity per bike, which is great, of course, if you're just looking for those lightweight bikes to get your to get your lightweight bikes to your destination. However, if you want to get those 60 pound bikes, if you want to take full use of the system, highly recommend that you can to go ahead and grab that two inch shank version. That's going to bring you up to a 60 pound capacity per bike, which is going to be excellent. Going to let you carry almost any bike out there that you need. And in my opinion, if you have the two inch hitch, just go ahead and do yourself a favor, grab that one. Now keep in mind though, that is going to limit you a little bit on what you can put your hitch on. So that inch and a quarter is going to be nice if you have a smaller vehicle in the family that you still want to utilize it with. In my opinion though, the uh, two inch version is just going to give you more bang for your buck, which is going to be great. And of course, going to carry almost any bike that you need up on it. The transfer is awesome though, guys. As you guys can see, we do have a very unique little shape here. So this little U-frame design makes it very, very easy to walk your bikes up into. That's one of the big things with these guys. And that's why I talk about if you can, if you can get up to that 60 pound, you might as well, because you're getting a lot of help to get those 60 pound bikes up on here. You guys can see I can completely walk in. You can imagine how easy this would be for me to actually get underneath that weight of that bike use my center mass and get it out of there with no trouble at all. So in my opinion, that's why I like that 60 pounder because you have the unique frame that it lets you kind of carry those big heavy bikes in here with no problem. Now the ratchet in your arm works very, very well, of course, as you guys, a little loud there, as you guys can see, it just comes right down on that front wheel hold and it won't be going up unless we push in on that lever to get it out of the way. Why this is great, we're having no frame contact. What that means lets us carry, like us here today, our carbon frame bikes with us wherever we go. So great little option because we don't have that frame, um, clamping. We're not going to be deteriorating or warping any of our frames that are on here, which is awesome. And of course, too, you guys can see we do have a little bit of an oscillation here. We can go ahead and get this completely kind of rotating. That's going to be great for our longer bikes, of course, in this position and our shorter bikes as they come in. So you still get a little versatility with this guy and you do have these little straps here, just kind of a plastic strip, definitely shorter um, than most you might see out there. So this isn't not going to be great for your kind of fat bike tires, even though the cradles are set up quite well for it. I know Kuat does offer um, some accessories to actually get those changed out. How However, um, this guy's just primarily not designed for those big ones, even though they do have these very nice cradles, which I do love to see. So your wider tires are going to have a better time than your fatter tires, unfortunately. So one awesome thing too, you are getting a little locking core here on the side, and this will come with a cable lock that you can go ahead, run through both of your bikes, plug in right to the side here, and therefore it will be nice and secured to your carrier. Now, of course, those cable locks are only going to be good enough for whoever doesn't want to take off of them. Of course, if they have any kind of bolt cutters, nothing really you can do, but of course, keeping people honest is all you can really hope to do, and it will go ahead and do that for yourself. So, <clears throat> taking a closer look here, you have the front tire hole here as well. You have this nice little 18C standard groove for ourselves, widening out for our longer or our wider tires, I should say, from that inside. It looks to be about four and one quarter inches inside to inside, which is gonna be plenty of space for most of the tires that we need. Now, one awesome thing about this though, well guys, it can actually tilt away while our bikes are on there. To do so, I just simply come right up here, get those arms off to the side, push in with that lever. Now, it might be a little harder to do with your second bike. Hopefully, you guys have that nice little triangle pocket like we do to go ahead and kind of stick your hand through. But then all we have to do, come to the back here, pop open the back of our hatch, and now we're gonna have total access to the back of our vehicle here. That's gonna be awesome. If we have any bike helmets, coolers, anything we might need, and simply go ahead, open up our hatch here, get full access. Can't even be nice to go ahead and sit, change out your shoes, whatever. Nice that we actually have access to this while our bikes are still on there. And that's awesome too. 
Maybe you find yourself at the gas station on that road trip, wherever you might be, or on the way to the trailhead. You can go ahead, quickly open that up and access all that coolers without having to take all of your bikes off, making it a big ordeal, which is awesome. Well, to get the bike off doesn't take too much time at all to do so. I'm just going to go ahead and undo my back strip like we showed earlier here today. But then that brings me to my last point of contact on our uh, front tire hold here, guys. So to undo this, make sure you do have a good handle on your bike. We don't want that tilting into the vehicle or ourselves to cause any damage. And then I just simply hit the push in on our button here. And that's going to go ahead and bring my arm up and go ahead and set it to the side and just simply walking my bike off. And you guys can see how close I can get to my bike here. I'm not doing this thing where you have to. A lot of times your platform's in the way. You're trying to find one little angle to get close to. I can go ahead and get right underneath it, not straining my back. And that's why I say if you're looking for those big heavy bikes, this is definitely the way to go about it. So if you can, I recommend the 2-inch always because you want to get full capability of that maneuver, which becomes very, very easy to do and is a huge advantage over a lot of the platforms out there. It's one of the main reasons that I would find myself getting a transfer and I think we want to take full use of it. Well, we can go ahead and bring in our arms here just to go ahead and give us a look of what it's going to look like when it is nice and condensed here. One thing I like to do too, guys, is I kind of take this arm out all the way to the side and then I kind of bring my cradle up a little bit bring this arm in and that just gives us a little bit of a better way for this not to be coming undone when we actually have it tilted up so that can be nice just to give you a little bit of room to kind of work with now with any hitch mounted accessory we're definitely be adding some length to our vehicle and we definitely want to be conscious of our clearance so in this position here we definitely don't want to be making contact with the ground because we don't want to be damaging our nice little bikes that are on there so taking a look here from the very end of this cradle here looks like that's gonna be our lowest point here today to the ground is putting us right at 19 and three quarters. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, 18 and three quarters of an inch right there. So plenty of room, almost about 20 inches or so. So it's not something I'm immediately concerned about. Just keep in mind as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So if you do find yourself approaching a steep incline, it's definitely something to be conscious of. Now, I don't think a lot of us are gonna be taking our MDX off-roading, but it is something just to be conscious as we are going about our drive. So we can go ahead and actually look at how much length we're adding the Acura MDX, not the longest, not the shortest out there. But let's go ahead and see from the rear of our bumper now to the very back end of us, of our carrier is gonna be putting us right at 35 and a half inches there, guys. So definitely a little bit of length to consider. Now that's about, about four inches or so shorter than most of the platforms out there you might see. So I kind of like how it is already somewhat smaller, of course, and lightweight. And we still have a way of quickly shortening that down. So I'm gonna come right back up to that lever we were at earlier. Now, of course you can go ahead and use your foot. Sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and push it like that. And then we can bring this up into position instead of tilting away. And one thing that I like about Kuat right here, you can see not a lot of movement, not gonna have too much shake. That's gonna be annoying and stuff that we're gonna be hearing. Uh, I definitely don't think we're gonna have any trouble at all driving uh, with this guy. I don't think it's gonna cause us any discomfort. Maybe somebody in the back seat might hear a slight little rattle, but I definitely don't think it's gonna be anything that's too annoying for ourselves. And now we can go ahead and see how much we've shaved down here. Now we can go ahead and hopefully with only 14 and one quarter inches there to the very end of our lever. Hopefully now we're gonna have no trouble getting this in the garage or maybe just a little bit more maneuverability when we need to park this guy wherever we might be. Moving our way down to the inside though, you can see we do have our inch and a quarter shank here today. We are also utilizing our two inch sleeve converter, allowing us to utilize our two inch hitch here. And it just has a simple little alignment pin and a retaining clip there to hold us in place. And that's really just to make sure you are properly aligned in the right spot. Where a lot of the work is being done is this little tiny guy right here, this little knob. You guys can see it has a little indent there as well and a little post right in the middle of that hex bolt pattern. So we actually do have a specialty tool that comes included. So you actually will need that tool to get this off and undone. And it also acts as our, yes, our security device, as we mentioned, but B, also as our anti-rattle device. So this secures a little shank on the inside, or a cam, I should say, and brings this all in line to one system. So you guys are going to see as they shake this guy, it's actually shaking the entirety of the MDX. That means we're all in line with one system, removing all that shake and play that we normally might have. And that's going to make for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves as we drive our bike rack, but especially our bikes as they are sitting on there. So I do like that little tool too, because you know it's gonna be nice and secure. Um, it just because makes it really easy to make sure I'm not having any shake or play. And therefore, even on those long drives, I'm not too worried about it.
Of course, that foot pad is excellent for when you have it in this position. You can just walk right up, push it, and allow it to bring down. It takes no time at all. So really do like how that foot pad starts to be working. And even if you have bikes on there, as we saw, you can kind of stick that foot right through that triangle. Now, sometimes you find yourself just using your hand as it's just a little easier, but nice that we have that option for our foot as well. Well, the transfer is an excellent way, guys. I really like how lightweight it is, and I am a really big fan of that U-frame design. And in my opinion, if you can go ahead and just grab that two-inch hitch, it's definitely worth it because you can get that 60 pounds, and you guys can saw how nice it was for me to get right up to that bike and set it in place. Especially if you're starting to look at some of your bigger mountain bikes or even those big electric bikes getting on here, it's gonna have no problem with that weight capacity and therefore takes all that strain off your back and therefore we can exert all of ourselves on those trail rides as we are going around the way. But guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Kuat Transfer V2 here on the back of our 2020 Acura MDX. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.